Well, of course, as I've been reporting, we've seen the escalation of hostility from Macron's government in France. Uh, finally, the British government having to respond to this, such is now the level of hostility and threats that we are sadly seeing from the French. And I think it's good that it's actually been pointed out now that this seems to be at least somewhat uh, fueled by the forthcoming presidential election, where, of course, nearly everyone standing as a Eurosceptic in France, including the likes of Michel Barnier. We've got a situation now where Macron's allies in France are just behaving in the most disgraceful way uh, towards Brexit UK, uh, attacking uh, Brexit frequently. They must be deeply, deeply insecure in their own beliefs, I think. Now, of course, this has escalated with the French ambassador being summoned. Liz Truss saying that she'd instructed the Europe Minister, Wendy Morton, to summon the French ambassador to the UK for talks tomorrow to explain the disappointing and disproportionate threats made against the UK and Channel Islands, with Lord Frost saying that he remains concerned by French plans on fisheries and beyond. Now, we are starting to get details of what a British response to the French on this may look like. The Telegraph learning that ministers presented with a range of options uh, to retaliate, including restricting access to UK waters further. And of course, this has been triggered by the French not liking, I'm afraid, the post-Brexit reality uh, when it comes to the UK deciding who gets fishing licences in France. Well, sorry, guys, that's the post-Brexit settlement. You should have been more honest with the French fishing industry. Now, other options are being considered, stepping up checks on French boats landing in UK ports. But George Eustace was on TV uh, on behalf of the government talking about this this morning, talking about a potential response to French actions. Here is what George Eustace had to say on Sky today. Well, the, the first thing is, um, as, as the UK, the way that we approach these things in the way that you, you should is we will be uh, talking to the European Commission. In fact, I spoke to the Commissioner two days ago when these, um, these threats were first made because the European Commission has got a, a role and a responsibility to make sure its member states, including France, uh, abide by the law and abide by the terms of the agreement that was reached. We've also summoned the, the French Ambassador, uh, Liz Truss, the Foreign Secretary, is going to raise these issues uh, with her and ask her to explain and, and give an account of what they uh, intend to do. We don't know what they'll do. They say they wouldn't introduce these measures until Tuesday, probably at the earliest. So we will see what they do. But obviously, if they do uh, bring these into place, well, two can play at that game. And, uh, you know, we obviously, you know, reserve the ability to be able to respond in a proportionate way. So, yeah, as I keep saying, very, very sad to see a French government behaving in this way. I think this is really desperate stuff from a Macron government rattled by the success of Brexit, concerned by the rise of Euroscepticism in France, including the range of potential challenges to Emmanuel Macron, which of course includes Michel Barnier. You really couldn't make that up, could you? But as ever, guys, I'll keep bringing you all the very latest when it comes to the UK's response to this madness from the French. Uh, let me know what you think, Boris and Frost, should do in response to some of this hostility. And of course, make sure you have hit subscribe and the bells. I keep bringing you all the latest right here on my channel. Thanks for watching.